A pleasant day to each and everyone. Welcome to English 106 Survey of the Philippine Literature. In this video, we will be discussing to you the literature in the modern period during 1960 to 1975, entitled Lesson 4, The Visitation of the Gods by Hilda Cordero Fernando. We are your reporters for this topic. Here with me is Rosary May de la Pieza, Angel Dumol, Psyche Ophalia, and yours truly, Jamaica Viejo. From BSED English 2A. Before we proceed to our discussion proper, let us first have the pre activity to refresh and activate our minds as we dig into our lesson. All you have to do is to fix the jumbled letters based on its given clue in relation to the lesson to be discussed later on. As we go along, remember to keep in mind your answers that we will reveal as we finish tackling the given items. Without further ado, let's begin our pre-activity. Number 1. Etasser Etasser Someone whose occupation is to instruct a one that teaches lessons, especially in school. A tasser. Number two. Sugged. Sugged. The creator and ruler of the universe and source of all moral authority. A physical representation of a deity. Sugged. Number three. Citaviont. Citaviont. An act of visiting or an instance of being visited for the purpose of inspection, examination, and or evaluation. Setaviant. Number four. Spoipesvor. Spoipesvor. A person who supervises a person or an activity. Someone who is in charge of a group of people or an area of work and who makes sure that the work is done. Spoipesvor. Number five. Operstendentent. Operstendentent. A person who manages or superintends an organization or activity. Someone who is in the top executive or CEO in the school district. Operstendentent. Now that we are done to our pre-activity, here are the correct answers for each items. Number one, teacher. Number two, gods. Number three, visitation. Number four, supervisor. And number five, superintendent. Have you got all the correct answers? If yes, that's great. You're a legendary. If not, that's still pretty fine. Now sit back, relax, and listen carefully as we discuss to you our topic, Lesson 4, The Visitation of the Gods by Hilda Cordero Fernando. Let us start the discussion through recognizing first the author. So now, let us move on to the background of the author. Hilda Cordero Fernando is a multi-awarded writer, publisher, and cultural icon from the Philippines. She was born in Manila, has a BA from St. Therese's College, Manila, and an MA from the Ateneo de Manila University. She started off as a writer and was awarded the Palanca Award for Literature several times. She has also written and illustrated children's books. Her short stories are collected in The Butcher, The Baker, and The Candlestick Maker in 1962, and The Wilderness of Sweets in 1973. The following are the characters in the story. First is Miss Noel, English instructor, Mrs. Divina Gracia, HE instructor, Mr. Albes, Pugadlawin High School's principal, Mrs. Albes, wife of Mr. Albes, Mr. Beneflor, industrial arts instructor, Mr. De Dios, physics instructor, Mr. Baz, national language instructor, Miss Santos, PE instructor, Mr. De Lesario, military tactics. Next is Mr. Sawit, New English Supervisor, Mr. Alava, Superintendent, Mr. Ampil, Former Language Arts Supervisor, Mrs. Valenton, Mrs. De Los Santos, Mrs. Alejandro, and Mrs. Cruz, Guests, Mr. Salas, Teacher Who's Fanning, Mr. Alava, 
Mr. Lokban, someone whose Miss Noel refused to dance with, Leon, student, woodworking instructor, poultry instructor, and automotive instructor as vocational staffs. Forward on the setting. So the story happened during and after the time of the visitation at Pugid Lawin High School having a capital of its topography. The physical appearance of the school includes the school is rooted on the firm ledge of a hill or it is established on the slope. The schoolhouse was also accessible or open by a series of stone steps carved on the hard face of the rocks. Meanwhile, on its west windows looked out in the messy grandeur of mountain, chained like a sleeping woman. To such a great extent, the view on the Pugad Lawin High School on the west side has an impressive view of the mountain similar to a sleeping woman. To be concise, the setting is highly elaborated in an austere manner. At this moment, I will provide a summary of the story. It revolves around Pugad Lawin High School, a small school in a remote area that is about to be visited by the district division supervisors and the superintendent for the purposes of inspection and evaluation. In other words, this story will stride on emphasizing the visitation of the officers who act as assessors, or metaphorically, the gods who will be giving ratings on the efficiency of the teachers and the school. Along with the visitation, the spotlight was then suddenly turned to one of its teachers, Miss Newell of the English Department. She is described by Mr. Sawit, the supervisor, as a headstrong individual. This means that Miss Noel exemplifies a trademark novel from any remaining characters in the story who just compromised with the way of life occurring in schools. It is obvious in the story the amount she bravely reacted to where the bitter words Mr. Sawit tossed on her, whereas Miss Noel was just living up to her ideals. In the story, there will be an ended conversation between the person in power, Mr. Sawit, and the oppressed lower working class, Miss Noel. To go deeper into the visitation of gods, we will present the important sequence of events that occurred in the story. First, the exposition. It would start from the beginning of the story in Pugad Lawin High School, when the janitor gives a letter to the principal that there will be the yearly visitation of the superintendent, division, and district supervisors. This indicates that there will be purposes of inspection and evaluation that happen every year in Pugad Lawin High School. Moving to the rising action, the teaching staff and the students were divided into four groups. The first group was composed of Mrs. Divina Gracia, the harassed home economics instructor. They were appointed to create a menu for supper. The second group was assigned to procure beddings and the dishes to be used in the supper. And also, the third group was to structure the room. And the rowdiest freshman group composed the fourth and discriminated group where Miss Noel belong. Climax. The visitation was successful, but a frank conversation occurred between the English teacher Miss Noel and the new English superintendent Mr. Sawit. Falling action. Miss Noel came to realize that those who sacrifice themselves for their job and for the good of others would still end up getting nothing. But as uh, she looked at the eyes of her student Leon, who is fearing to become a lawyer someday, she felt something within her. And resolution. At the end of the story, Miss Noel's determination to teach students is still in heart. And so after breakfast the, the next morning, the supervisor packed their belongings and were soon ready. Mr. Buenaflor fetched the camera and they also and they all posed on the sunny steps for a souvenir photo. The superintendent with Mr. and Mrs. Albes on either side of him and the minor gods in descending orders on the home economics stairs. Miss Tomil was late, but she ran to take her place with a pride and humility on the lowest rung on the school's hierarchy. Themes of the story First, 
Equality is difficult to achieve. Second, life can be full of pretensions. Third, Filipinos' mentality toward competition. Lastly, death of Filipino idealism. Now let's proceed to the morals of the story. The story shows how difficult in sustaining one's interest in improving the standards of education in the country, especially in the public schools, because in the end, it is always the learners who will suffer. Next, it doesn't matter how well one teaches, but how well one has learned. Next, reality behind every exceptional and outstanding preparations. Next, stay determined to fight for the greater good of all. And lastly, Positions does not necessarily define someone's effort and dedication in his or her job. That's the end of our report. We hope that you learned something in this topic. And if you did, you may assess yourself through answering the following comprehension questions. Number one, list the various preparations for the visitation. Number two, what is your own reaction to such visitation? Number three, comment on the personal relation among the faculty members. Discuss Miss Noel's character. Number four, what type of person was Mr. Ampil? Number five, what is your reaction to Mr. Sawit? Number six, discuss the line what kind of a piker was she to betray a dream like that number seven explain what it means for miss noel to take her place with pride and humility on the lowest rung of the school hierarchy and number eight evaluate the author's style once again, good day everyone, and we are hoping that we were able to instill new learnings to you through this lesson. Thank you for listening and watching this video.